We are waiting here. I'm getting as excited as uh, many of the friends who have been fighting to bring the Kusuma family back to Toronto. Of course, their ordeal. We first told you about it about two years ago. They hid out in a church to avoid being deported after their botched immigration case by their lawyer. Now, Avery Haynes was at the church where they called well, the church they called home. She was there this afternoon. I met the West End Church that was both sanctuary and prison for the Pasuma family. For three long years, they didn't dare step out those doors. What are you hoping to happen? So we can be free. That's why. You want to be free? If I'm not free, then I can go outside. That was back in 2014. Lulu and her mom and dad had spent some three years hiding out here after an order they'd be sent back to their homeland of Hungary. Why not go uh, outside, Daddy? I see in the window every parent's going with the children in the park. She just cry. Why? Why? <laughs> Neighborhood children would come to play with Lulu. The church kitchen was where they made their meals. Joseph would play the piano to combat the strange combination of terror and boredom that goes along with living in hiding. I'm always scared of somebody coming, like an immigration border, maybe coming and pick up for me and taking to jail. The family is Roma, disparagingly called gypsies and under intense persecution in their homeland of Hungary. They fled to this country after an attack by skinheads, but their lawyer botched the case and they were ordered deported. For three years, they held out hope while holed up in this church that this government would change its mind. But this isn't always, no, 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 no. You are a bogus refugee. Sometimes my, my daughter touched my face and speak, hey, you never given up. But they did give up in December of 2014. They left the church, left the country, and have been living in hiding in Hungary ever since. And then this. The new government did what everyone thought by now might be impossible. They invited the Pasumas to come back home. I'll tell you one of the best, best phone calls I've ever had was the one uh, that I made to Joseph and Tamea to tell them that Minister McCallum had decided to intervene and bring them back. It was uh, really something I'll never forget. It was a beautiful moment. They're, they've been, they're crazy excited. There was a lot of, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Say it again. As for the lawyer who botched their immigration case? He admitted to and then was found guilty of professional misconduct. He was suspended from any practice for, uh, for several months. This church, in fact, the entire community has been working tirelessly for years for the Pasuma family. And now they're doing all they can to help them reintegrate into the city. They found them an apartment and jobs so that they can begin contributing to a country that they now can legitimately call home. On Windermere, I'm Avery Haynes, City News.